going to the gym a lot and I've been having a lot of pain, a lot of trouble like going overhead, anything mm -hmm. like shoulder. Mm -hmm. I've just been having a lot of shoulder pain like sometimes at rest. Um, and I went to the doctor and they told me I probably had shoulder impingement. Mm -hmm. So does that mean like I should stop doing these things because like I'm impinging something every time I do this? What, is that, what does it mean? Not really. So shoulder impingement at this point is kind of a catch-all term for uh, we don't know what's going on with your shoulder and we're just going to call it something. It used to be bursitis. Um, it, it doesn't, it's not really a meaningful, ter meaningful term. So the idea is that you have a supraspinatus tendon kind of up under here and you have a bone and a ligament on top of that and when you lift your arm up, theoretically that supraspinatus presses up against this ligament, this coracoacromial ligament and the idea is that it wears down the supraspinatus tendon over time and can create uh, pain with that. And so that's, that's, that's that impingement idea. And so people have these different shapes of the bone, the acromion process, type one, type two, type three, where the acromion process kind of hooks on the type three. And the idea there was that, hey, if you have a type three acromion, it kind of hooks, it's sharp, it's gonna tear that supraspinatus tendon more, create more impingement, right? So it turns out none of that is actually how it works. The acromion process doesn't really seem to matter for shoulder pain. It doesn't seem to wear down the supraspinatus tendon any faster. So what really uh, impingement is becoming at this point is some sort of rotator cuff pathology. So the muscle, the, the stabilizing muscles in your shoulder, one of them is a little bit angry at you for some reason, could be overuse. It's probably not because it's slamming up against that coracoacromial ligament. And you're just getting rotator cuff related pain and or rotator cuff tendinopathy. And that's really what impingement at this point is turning into. So when, when someone says you have impingement, it's because they haven't really like checked through what your shoulder's doing and they don't necessarily know what the issue is, but they know it hurts and so they're trying to give you something to think about. So if it's not shoulder impingement, it's probably rotator cuff like pathology? Mm -hmm. Some sort of, it might just be some like tendinopathy, some like irritation in one of the tendons of the rotator cuff. So what would you do um, about it? What you just are we gonna have to, do? Yeah, so you just make it strong. So. Make, I mean, and, and it's really, so you don't want to zone in on one thing, right? So it's important to get the rotator cuff strong. A lot of uh, the history of treatment of impingement has been we need to make the shoulder blade rotate up more because that gives you more room for that coracoacromial ligament. You said I had a, a sloppy scapula. Sloppy scapula, yeah, you don't want that. No. Um, so it doesn't, you can't really correlate the scapular movement that you can visibly see on someone to pain. Like that's not a thing that really works but it doesn't mean it's bad to strengthen all the muscles around the shoulder blade too. So you do want to strengthen the rotator cuff. You want to strengthen the muscles around your shoulder blade. Um, you want to strengthen everything around the shoulder. There's a big bug right That's there. That's a large bug. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so just basically make everything strong and try to keep pain below a three out of 10 while you're doing it so okay. that you don't, that, that, that's kind of that yellow light pain where you know you're not damaging tissue further. So we just need to make my shoulder stronger. Yep, but probably parts of the shoulder stronger that you haven't necessarily strengthened, put a lot of focus on strengthening up till this point. Cool, let's do it. All right.